Marseille has truly become Black family to me. And she is really just a force of nature. She truly is. Kristen here, and today we're chatting with the cast of Paramount Plus's Fantasy Football. I hope you enjoy the conversation. You know, I'm so excited to talk to you, and I'd love to hear a little bit more about how you became a part of Fantasy Football, and also mm -hmm. just like what it was like working opposite Marseille Martin, who's been such a force in the industry at such a young age. Absolutely. I mean, Marseille has truly become Black family to me. Um, we had a blast on set. Um, her, myself, Omari, uh, we cracked jokes. We did TikToks. We talked about everything from uh, life and family and being silly and dancing and music and everything. Um, and she is really just a force of nature. She truly is. I love Marseille. I was aware of Marseille. I mean, from the work she's done on Blackish, but like, I'm impressed with that, but I'm I'm way more impressed with just how she's navigating as this leader, you know, and only being 18. It just like it it just shows you that she's so talented beyond like her age that it doesn't matter. And the moment that you know that they announced that she had a production company and she did that the film with um Issa Rae, um, I feel like a lot of people looked at that and just was unsure. And because of the age. But the moment you saw her on screen, the moment you saw the quality and the and the people that got behind her, you were just like, this girl is literally going places. Like I'm I'm impressed to where she is now. She's only 18. Like in 10 years, I don't know what, like what she's accomplished so much. I feel like in a, a couple of years, she could just say, you know, I'm good, y'all. I did everything. You know, but I'm just gonna travel the world right now for four yeah. more years or she, I mean, she can literally go anywhere, do anything, man. She's such an inspiration to, you know, young black girls and women gen in general, you know, and just a little boss, man. I love working with her. So very personable too and grounded. When you think about an 18 year old young woman um, being what Rome coined her perfectly, being a boss, she's balanced. It's not, you know what I mean? She had not have to worry about, she, I think I just started dating at age she presently is and she's running a company. State was at her, you you feel me? Like that's cray cray. And now between fantasy football and the other film you did earlier this year, the the Curse of Bridge Hollow, you've been a part of some really great family friendly films this year that really center around young black women in like the STEM space. And mm -hmm. I'd love to hear like, is that something that's important to you, or um, you know, what has it been like to be a part of those projects? For both of those projects, I love the sense of family. I love the idea of working on a project and my son can see it too. Uh, because that makes him proud. Um, he talks about it. And um, yeah, I like for him to see like when mommy is gone, like how it manifests itself later. Um, and it's out for people to see and hopefully enjoy. Did you have any favorite moments filming fantasy football? My favorite moments, uh, one was definitely doing TikTok with Marseille. Another one was um, I sat and I, I'm, I'm still a student at acting, um, and but I sat and I watched Omari um, think his way through a scene and I saw him figure it out and I saw it mean a lot to him to make everything just as fluid and organic as possible. And it was so beautiful to watch him work. He is just literally not a quarter and he's all in when he does it. And um, I admire that uh, about him for sure. The cast came together as a beautiful family. And, and we decided together as a collective that Rome was not the antagonist, that Bobby Coleman played by Omari was not the protagonist, that I equally was antagonistic to the family trying to remind me we're all you got, you know, mm -hmm. and, and um, and the four of us just operated in that way and tried to be as open as we could to the rest of the cast. But we became absolutely a family. It is definitely one of the better cast I've ever been around. Everyone humble, grounded, ready to work, focused. Every day, Rome was on point, ready every day. And at times, you know, if he felt, um, you know, oh, what can we do with this scene? How can we stretch it? This, that, or the third. What he didn't realize is I was already thinking that. And then he'd say it and I'd go, oh, perfect. So when you, it's just, you know, especially for a family movie, you know, even playing in power, I tried my hardest. I was like, Courtney, we need, cause family is just forgotten too much. It was a beautiful thing to become a family. And, and I know I'll be in, you know, Rome's life forever and in his children's lives and he and mine and my children and on all the way to, obviously Kelly has two kids and uh, we can't talk about Marseille having kids yet. Please don't ever bring that up to me. <laughs> you can bring it up to me, but I just know that when that time comes, we'll all be there for her. We might be at the hospital the day she gives birth. Like it's crazy to think 
what Anton created and what uh, Paramount Plus and Nickelodeon supported in him creating and bringing us together. I got to ask, a video recently dropped showing just how much you really had a hand in putting together the girl group Little Mix when you were on uh, X Factor UK. Have you yeah. seen it? Yes, I have. So what has it been like to see people's reactions to that? I mean, you you like put them together. It was amazing. Well, you know what's funny is I just remember seeing all the ladies. And I don't know if it's because of my DC days and, you know, just feeling what that chemistry would feel like. But I knew what they felt like in my soul. And I, I felt like I knew what they would look like all together. And I went off my instincts, to be honest. And I remember Jay saying, um, I don't, I just don't know about being in a group. You know what I mean? She was definitely, I can't do an accent because, you know, she has a cute, cute little accent. Um, but I, I just saw it. Um, and I'm so grateful that they trusted me um, for that or in that moment. But yeah, it, it was, I'm so grateful that people also saw that video. Yeah, I, I put those girls together and they turned you, out great. <laughs> yeah, and the, their career has been incredible. Like you really have an eye for it. So that was amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya.